talking about the industry, but the industry, unfortunately, can sometimes not be an incredible place because um, our guest today is also going to be shedding light on what happened at uh, uh, a concert that happened just the other day. Mm -hmm. But his problem was that, you know what? I was part of the act. Um, during the concert, but Ule Munyalini Tanfani concert was not treating me how I feel like I deserved. So I'm like, is it a problem where the old cats don't want to give way to the young cats? Do they feel like uh, they, they're going to overshadow us? Um, uh, like, what is really the problem? Um, shook it, eh? Now, let know how many shades you have to throw shade. I'm a blender. Hello, Minister. Minister, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. were not such a happy shook it during the weekend, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, your Twitter was uh, on fire. What happened? We, okay, let me not talk too much. What happened? We now we, right we into it. yes, we will not throw names, however. Yeah. So yes, um, what happened? I was at a show, and uh, you know I was trying to do my thing, of course, as an artist. I was I was supposed to be there as a performer, which mm -hmm. I did go to do, and in the course of my performance, um, I was cut off. And uh, mm. what's the what's the right word to use? But I was cut off uh, in an orthodox manner, right. which I wasn't cool with. And uh, mm -hmm. some of the people that were there to see me also weren't cool with it. Right. And the communication from then henceforth wasn't really too good. Mm -hmm. And we felt we felt like there's always a way to salvage a situation. Exactly. We felt like it was we were completely neglected. And that's when. That's when we just decided to speak out. We never knew it would turn out so huge mm. like that. I was just, you know. Yeah, Twitter because many other people jumped on the bandwagon yeah. and we're talking about it. And like, okay, you know what? We've experienced the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Okay, you too? Yeah. What you mean, my <laughs> nigga? Um, but like, for you, yeah. what do you think was the problem? Ni, weren't they prepared? Or was it just outright I, madarao? Like, what would you call it? I really don't want to act like I want to speak on their behalf. Right. You see, I've been looking for the opportunity for us to parlay. Like, but you were blocked, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel I, me? I you just feel saw me? you've been blocked. I was like, wow. You know, so like, uh, what we can say we felt was uh, a bit of neglect right. and uh, just unprofessionalism. That's mm. what we felt it was. I can't, I can't speak on how prepared they were. Right. What we saw, things happen. We what was supposed it. to happen? What was supposed to happen is I was supposed to be there at ten. Mm. 10 10 30 p.m p.m mm -hmm. i was supposed to perform not too long after that although communication still i have receipts of like constant asking like what time is sound check what time am i performing how mm. long is my set so eventually on the day of the show i did learn that i'm only doing two jams i was like cool i'll do my two jams which was a shocker yeah i mean i was like whatever man you know it's it's uh how long how mine. long from when you began communication and started asking um when is sound check what time should i be at the venue how long will i be performing for and then come the day of the event what duration of time was that a week and a half maybe two okay yeah so week. they just decide to go quiet on you for a while or rather not be clear on the communication up until the day they tell you oh by the way you're only doing two jams so i, I was hitting them up i kept mm -hmm. on asking like so how do i prepare let me know how i how i get myself ready so I can make you, I could compliment your show, you know? Okay. So it, it wasn't really clear, and I could understand maybe they were dealing with the rest of the tour. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just starting in Nairobi. But on the last day after, like, you know, I had to now call. It couldn't be email or text anymore. I had to now call on the, on the it was Friday, I think? Yeah, Friday. I had to call on the evening of Friday to be told what time to get there. And my two jams and whatnot so it was cool we still said it's, it's, it's enough time because we we're promoting it yeah. we we're hoping like our people will still come out and have mm. fun so we did show up at like 10 30 10 45 maybe right. and we were just kicking it like waiting for word mm. still non communicated uh directly or promptly enough to us while we were at the venue and we're like we're just gonna hang around and wait mm. but i ended up like hitting the stage moments to three how do you think that we can change that? Because I feel like it comes to the artists who are going mm -hmm. now when you want to prepare the entire concert, you know? Yeah. We can't just be like, okay, them, 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 them. But mm -hmm. also you as Even an like, artist, yep. right? Yeah. I mean, how do you think we can make attendance at concerts for the artists better? Much better. Okay, I'll start by answering like this. 
a few a bunch of people were calling me telling me like i might i probably shouldn't have done that mm-hmm. but even when i did what i did i knew what the consequences are the right. same people that are looking at me thinking the nah, hell that's not the dude we're gonna book for right. our show yeah. you know it's some few people are still gonna book me after it but it's consequences that we have to deal with i wasn't just ranting out my you know my backside mm-hmm. there was something that happened and we need to address these things exactly. we don't need to call everyone out every single day that's yes. not what i'm saying but like if there's ill in the industry it should be it should be called out mm-hmm. we improved the music quality guys started doing better videos now respect is something people need to understand is mutual you mm-hmm. can't just rally behind you if you can't even respect the people that get you to certain levels mm-hmm. and I'm personally trying to apply the same you know I talk to young cats in the game mm-hmm. some of them want to reach me I share music with them I even do some songs with them some of them just want to kick it and just learn a few tips and I think that's one way I could self help in the industry okay. It's your boy Shuke kicking it at Capital FM. Hits now homework with Anita, Tracy, and Amor, man.